Okay, hi folks. This is our last week, as you know. Um, the stuff I'll show today you don't have to do. I'm just showing it to you to give you an idea of some other features about Photoshop. So you know they're there. Um, as some of you know, I've always been an animator or a visual effects person, so I use it for motion graphics a lot. Um, we talked a little bit in the past, and again, if you have questions, do ask them, about over here, eh, these various, I'm going to call them workspaces. I think that's what they call them, too. Uh, you'll see I'm on photography. Uh, all they are is they're just a setup of all the controls. You could set it up yourself and change it around if you want. Uh, when we start out, we're over here in Essential. Um, and I've been in photography for some time now. Um, I'll tell you, uh, Adobe is very interested um, in... Um, they want to push their online stuff, so this always kind of annoys me. They always keep this libraries thing there, which if you're using their online resources is great, but I almost never use those, so it always bothers me that that's taking up space. You can actually ditch it um, if you grab the tab here uh, and then close it. You can make it go away, but then you're also changing to spaces, which creates other issues. Um, what I want to show you today is that they actually have something for animators. This is the motion setup. And when we do 2D animation 1, we use this a lot. Um, I'm going to say create video timeline. Good. And uh, what this did, which is sort of interesting, I think. Uh, let me change my, move my stuff around here a little bit. We'll size that back a little bit like that. Push that down like that. Uh, and eh, that didn't help me. This is what we want to do. This is a timeline. This is a very important part of any sort of animation program. The way it works is we're used to working X and Y and drawing, right? When you're animating, when you're doing anything with uh, motion, you have time. And your time goes left to right. Uh, what you'll notice here... This is called a playhead, and you'll see it has uh, frames, 10 frames, 20 frames, one second is 30 frames. And all my layers are here, ah, over here you can see. Now that's how long they're on for. So let's say I wanted to create a quick animation of everything that happened here, uh, and I should name my layers better, this is a good reason to do that. We're going to start with this layer here because we're not seeing those top ones. I'm going to change where it shows to there, and what you'll see is you'll see stuff will start to peel back, especially as I go down this list. Uh, those top layers, I'll tell you why I'm not too concerned about those momentarily. This whole timeline is four seconds. Uh, I can make it longer, and actually, to tell you the truth, I probably will. But, to give you an idea how this works... Man, I have a lot of these layers here. Might be a good time to not only name them, but consolidate them. Take a few, merge them together. Here are my faces. Pale faces, hat. Actually, we'll go from there. Um, what will happen right now, do you see how the whole thing, as I move the playhead, the parts come in? Uh, if I hit the space bar, it should play at speed. So that is the animation we would see of just showing these layers. Again, these top three uh, aren't on. I could actually... Um, can I remove them from here without moving them from there? How much am I going to regret this? Probably a lot, so I'm going to undo it. Uh, but basically, they're not... If I turn them on like that, we would see them. But if the eye's off, we won't see them. Um, I'm going to make my timeline longer so I can get more out of this. Uh, oh, you're not letting me change my timeline. Oh, you know what? I probably have to go to here, which is a whole separate menu just on animation. Uh, and go to Convert Frames Work Area... Set timeline frame rate. Let's see what that is. 
Uh, that's 24 frames or 30 frames a second. I prefer actually 24, but that's still not the one I want. I want to change the length of these, um, this timeline, uh, which will have a setting in it somewhere. Resolution 50%, loop playback, uh, work area, convert frames. Da, 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 da. There's a whole bunch of other. You see, there's a lot of controls in here for animation. Um, The one I'm looking for, of course, is the one that will let me change the length of these. They're layers. Let's check under the layer menu. Uh, if we go under layer menu, we have a whole thing called video layers. Um, these are layers I could draw on if I wanted to. I'm actually going to put one out there. You'll see it's a different um, length. Oh, good, and finally that gave me there we go. I'm going to make the duration of this layer uh, 20 seconds. Ah, it will only give me five. <laughs> okay, I'll put in another one. I'll go down here and let's put another video layer. Video layer, video layer, new blank video layer. Good. And now what you'll see is I should have a whole bunch more seconds. Like I'm up to 17 seconds here. Uh, that's much better. Um, I don't have anything on those layers, so what it means is I should be able to select these layers. Let's see if we can move them all over. Ah, darn. Let's try that again. And if I click on this and pull it, oh yeah, they're all going. They're all going. Good. Look at that. Let's get them down. I can count it out. We're going to put them down at 17 seconds. So now... That's going to be our full thing. If we go backwards here, we should be able to Now these are those other layers. Um, you'll notice my timeline has gotten too long, too difficult to work with. So I'm going to zoom it out a bit. So let me see it more, which is good. Uh, and then I can push the rest of these down here. We'll go like that. Go like that. We'll go like that. My banisters. Okay, now actually the more interesting ones show up. My background copies. Let's see what those are. I don't need those ones. I need six. Uh, those other ones don't really matter so much. And you'll see where six is. That's six. Uh, and we'll, you know, we'll do them like this a little bit because we're finally getting back to the base of our animation here. Okay. Now, to make this work, I have to stretch these guys so that they run our whole timeline. And we now have an animation timeline that's 17 seconds long. We'll go up here and we'll get these ones out there too. And it, what it should do is it should, over 17 seconds, should show our progress. Again, you don't have to do this. It's just to show you that, you know, this exists. Uh, I'll make that one go out too. There's another program by Adobe called After Effects, which basically uh, Photoshop is to images what After Effects is to movies and television. Uh, and it uses a lot of these same tools. It even uses the same timeline. This timeline is from After Effects. Uh, but if you want to deal with animated stuff, you should learn how to deal with this. Good. Um, and actually, I can now delete those two layers, because we don't need them anymore. Uh, these three layers we don't see. Uh, to give you an idea of what we are going to see here, let's see what happens when I hit play, which is the space button, and watch up here. This should be our whole animation repairing over time. Ah, 
Except something happens in the background on the last one. Let's see what happens on the last one there. Why we're losing. Uh, you know what I bet? I bet I have one layer that's not leaning out far enough. There they are. <laughs> this background copy 6 has to lean out to there. And we'll play that again from the beginning. And so you see each step of what I do here. over time. Um, let's say I like that, and I sort of like that. You then can output it. Export Render Video. So this will open another Adobe app. <laughs> We're going to let it talk because that's from Adobe. Allow Access. Uh, we'll call that, uh, that's good actually, uh, documents is fine. It's going to put it out as H.264, which is a, um, H.264 is MPEG-4, that's fine. The resolution is a little bit funny, but that's okay. I'll live with that. I'm just going to hit OK, render, I should say. Uh, and it's going to percolate for a while. It actually has to generate the video file. When this is done... The same way I can upload this video to YouTube, I could upload this video to YouTube if I wanted to. If we had more time, I might have you do these, and then we'd see your whole resultant thing as a video. But, I won't require that. Um, I'm going to find that, what we just made, just to show it to you. Go here, we put it in Documents. Documents, Documents, Documents. Uh, it's this guy, an MPEG-4 file. Let's play it. This is the video what we just did. I could even change the order of the layers and change the amount of time they take and get totally different results if I wanted to. And if I wanted to share this with people, I would upload it to YouTube. Um, that's a quick demonstration of what sort of animation features you have here. Uh, the big difference being when you're animating you get this timeline that goes frames or time, they're the same thing, going left to right. Um, if I go back here to photography, it's as if that isn't even there. Uh, these are just different ways of looking at the windows. So it's always there. Uh, it's just a matter of if I want to use it or not. Um, okay. Uh, that is just a quick cover on that. If you're interested in it, you can try it. Uh, you don't have to. Um, we'll look at your finished um, drawings. Drawings. Your finished uh, Van Goghs that look like they were shot yesterday. <laughs> uh, you can hand them in tomorrow or you can hand them in Thursday, okay? Okay, folks, I'm stepping out.